this afternoon we're going to have a, a lovely, nice restorative class. Uh, we are going to be working on just releasing some of that horrible tension from the shoulders and the hips um, and also just relaxing the jaw and the neck as well because often when we're stressed we can just hold the jaw and it's, we don't realise until we let it go and how much it's been aching. Um, as always, if there's anything that feels uncomfortable or, well, painful, sometimes it might feel a little uncomfortable, but painful is definitely to be avoided. Um, use cushions, blocks, blankets, wherever needed to pad knees, wrists, heads, backs. Um, and if you want to have a blanket handy just for the end when we have a little bit of a relaxation, that would be fab unless like me you feel like you're about to burst into flames so you might not need a blanket right now um and towards the end when i get into our relaxation do feel free to just pop off zoom if you want to have a little bit of a longer um savasana but obviously aware that there'll be there might not be there any anybody there to wake you up so so you know just keep that in so we're coming to a reclined position. I'm going to lengthen the back all the way along the floor and really gently pull the shoulder blades together. Arms can be out wide, knees flat, knees flat, well, feet flat to the floor, knees bent, and it can be in any sort of variation you like. Knees can be out wide, knees could fall into each other. Just find a nice relaxed body on the floor. I'm going to stay here for a few moments to really arrive onto your mat. So relaxing the head down onto the floor, feel the weight of the head, feel that lovely long body across the floor. And just start to Feel the breath, bringing awareness to that slightly cooler breath coming in, and the warmer breath going out. And there's no control, there's no judgment. We're just allowing the body to breathe. And to serve us in the best possible way right now. And the eyes may be closed or gently lowered. Just finding the inhale and the exhale. And as you focus on the breath, the mind might be chattering away. And it's fine, we can't turn off thoughts, as lovely an idea as that is, but we can acknowledge thoughts and then let them go rather than following them down the rabbit hole. You may even simply say to yourself, I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. As we focus more on the breath, it begins to slow and perhaps deepen. You start to feel the belly and the chest lift as you inhale and soften as you exhale.
feel a lovely wave of breath coming in, filling the body. And that wave of breath, exhaling, going down the body. We can take a moment to use the inhale to invite in some new energy for the rest of the day and the weekend ahead. And the exhale to just let go of anything that isn't serving us this afternoon. Invite in that lovely fresh energy, opening the chest and the heart. As you exhale, soften into the ground, let the body melt into the floor. Let go of anything that isn't serving you right now. I'm going to take a few cleansing breaths here, taking the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and <sighs> just sighing it away. In through the nose, filling the lungs, filling the belly, filling the back with oxygen and then <sighs> letting it go. Taking your time with your own rhythm of breath. <sighs> Let it all out. <sighs> Taking just a few more of those lovely cleansing breaths. And then take one big breath, fill the lungs, fill the body, seeing if you can hold it just for a moment at the very top of the breath. And then ah, let it out, let the jaw release, let the mouth be soft. And you can keep the eyes closed or lowered and bring the knees up to the chest. Give them a little hug in. And you could gently rock from side to side, just massaging the back into the floor. Starting to feel the ground beneath us, supporting the body. And then gently bringing it to stillness in the center. Gaze is up to the sky, gently pulling those knees in. And then we're going to take the hands to that right leg and let the left leg just come out long onto the floor, resting down. It can be slightly bent, it can be fully lengthened. And then we're going to take this right hip round in circles. Almost massaging the hip joint. Feeling the juices, the energy moving. Great for if we've been sat down quite a lot. Let's take it round in the opposite direction. Moving it nice and slowly and purposefully. Lovely, bringing it back. To center, and we're going to swap over the knees nice and gently, lengthening out the right leg now, hugging in the left, and then taking it round in circles. Just noticing the difference between the hips, whether one feels a little more mobile. And again, moving around, taking it around in the opposite direction. Lovely. 
Keep it going. And then very gently bring it back. And let's bring now both knees back up once again. And then we're going to take the knees out wide, feet out wide, into this lovely open posture. And this is a little happy baby variation. So you can keep hold of the knees or the thighs. And then if you wanted to move into a little happy baby posture, we're taking the feet up as if we were going to stand on the ceiling. And then bend the knees to either side of the body. Hands can stay on the thighs. They might grasp the calves. Or you might be able to reach up and get the feet. Whichever variation works for you. If the head is lifted and the shoulders are lifted, bring them back down and maybe move the hands down just to make it accessible to you. You could gently rock from side to side. Just feeling that lovely, joyful openness of a happy baby posture. Taking some lovely long breaths in. Filling with fresh oxygen and oh, sighing it out. And bringing it back to centre. Releasing the feet and the legs, bringing the feet back down to the ground. We take the arms out as wide as we'll allow. We can take them up above the head, depending on where you're situated currently. Just let them be lengthened away from the legs. Walking the feet close into the bottom. We're going to take a nice inhale. And as you do, you're going to exhale, take the knees over to the right hand side into a very gentle twist. Shoulders are staying down on the floor. Don't worry if the knees don't go all the way to the floor. We're just taking a couple of breaths here for a little spinal twist. Waking up the back. Inhale, lifting back to centre. And exhaling, taking it over to the other side. Again, just relaxing the legs to wherever they want to come to. Steady breathing. Find a lovely breath that nourishes you just in through the nose, out through the nose. And then bringing it back to centre on an inhale. And we're going to come up to sitting. So you could either roll over onto the side and push yourself up. Or you can cross the ankles and rock yourself up. Really depends on energy and body today. We're going to come to a cross-legged position with the right leg in front of the left. Feeling lovely and tall, body, spine lengthening up to the sky, crown of the head lifted. Got a cat photo bombing, zoom bombing, so I will kick him out of the way if he gets in the way too much. So with this lovely tall body, we're going to take a nice twist. So we're starting to warm up. We're going to take the fingertips to the ground. Inhale, lift the hands up to the sky. As you exhale, breathe it to side. Take left hand to the right knee. Back hand very gently rests on the floor. And we'll look over that back shoulder if the neck will allow. Otherwise, just take it. Gaze wise wherever feels best for you. Take some breaths here. Each inhale, lengthening the spine. Each exhale, allowing you to relax into that twist. Relax the shoulders. Relax the jaw. And bring the eyes to close at any point during the practice. Just taking the gaze inwards. 
And on an inhale, let's lift back up to centre. Fingertips go to the sky. As you exhale, you twist to the left. Right hand goes to the left knee. And again, you twist it round. Looking over the shoulder, if it helps the neck. Otherwise, just gazing where feels comfy. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twisting. And an inhale, bring it up back to centre, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, just yawn the hands away. A little rotate of the wrists, give it a little shake. Do feel free to oh, take a yawn. It releases the jaw, which enables us to release everything else. From this cross-legged position, so we've still got the right leg in front, we're going to take the hands forward and very gently just walk the hands away from the body and fold over the legs. Now we're aiming to keep a fairly nice flat back. So if we only come halfway down, that's fine. The arms might come down. With a little rounding, but we're not sort of collapsing into ourselves. Gaze is towards the front. Nice long breaths. And then you're going to pat the hands over to the left hand side. Just until you get a gentle sensation in the right hip. Might be in the right thigh, it might even just be the right side of the body. Feel the ribs on the right hand side as you inhale, they can expand. And then let's walk the hands back to centre, gently lifting up, shoulders back and down. And then we're going to swap the legs over. So left leg is coming in front. Going to find that lovely long tall spine again, fingertips to the floor either side of the body. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, let's twist to the right again. So left hand onto that right knee, have that gentle twist. Long steady breath. In lift to centre, arms come up. Exhale, twist to the left. Feeling the breath moving through the body. And then inhale, let's come back to centre. Exhale again, yawn the hands away, rotate the wrists, move the shoulders, make that yawn, oh, relax in the face. Then fingertips in the front, just in front of the legs, lifting the chest and then walking the hands forward just as far as they will go. Taking some nice long breaths there into the length of the back, gently pulling the sitting bones to the floor. And then padding those hands over to the right hand side this time. So we're breathing into the left side of the body. And we might feel a little bit of activation on that left. Nice long breath. And padding the hands back to centre. Inhale, rolling all the way back up and just pull them across the legs, take them out in front, 
give them a little shake, a little rub, and then we're gently going to come to our hands and knees. So here's where I'm always going to suggest, particularly sort of late in the week and in the afternoon, if you want to fold the mat over to pad the wrists or pop a blanket under the knees, then do. Spread the fingers, so the hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips are in box position. And let's unlock the elbows, so often it's tempting to lock the joints in with a little bend in the elbows. Gaze down to the ground to start with, we're going to go through some cat cow tilts to undulate the spine. So we're going to inhale, lift the head and the chest, point the bottom and let the belly fall towards the floor. As you exhale, you're going to round the back and let the head be heavy, gently push the spine up to the sky. Inhale, lift it through, gently pull shoulder blades together. Exhale, round the back, let the head be heavy. Inhale, lifting through, pushing the heart forward. Exhale, round the back. See if you can follow your breath. So just using your inhale to lift and your exhale to round. Gently pulling the tummy muscles in as you round the back. Linking the body and the breath together. In a moving meditation. And you can always freestyle it here a little. So if you feel like you want to roll side to side a little. Or maybe as you round the back, you want to send the bottom behind you to really stretch into the upper back. In time. A few moments to move the body quite naturally. Just noticing any little pockets of tension, seeing if you can consciously send a little bit of breath there, a little bit of relaxation, and then bring yourself back. The center. So hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. And then we're just going to make sure we're towards the back of the yoga mat. So there's a bit of space in front of us. You might want to have a cushion handy here. So this is entirely up to you. But we're going to go for a melted heart posture. So you're going to start to walk the hands forward without moving that lower body. So the hips aren't coming with us, they're staying where they are. So the forearms are going to start to come down and you may stop there. Just let the head go heavy. You may find that actually you can lower the chest to the floor. You might find that actually popping a cushion underneath the arms and the chest just allows you to relax a little bit more. Highly up to you. The melted heart is literally what it says on the tin. We are trying to melt our hearts and our chest towards the ground. Forehead can come down or the chin might be there. And we're just letting ourselves go. Nice long breaths wherever you are. Keep pointing the sitting bones to the sky. And feel that lovely breath in the body as we melt it forward. Taking just one or two more breaths there. And then starting to move back up, sliding the hands back under the shoulders. 
And then just take a nice side to side, maybe round in circles movement. And then you can stay towards the back of the mat or you can move into the middle, whatever feels better. We're going to take the hands over to the left hand side and step this right foot forward. And we just want to get that right knee over the right ankle. So we're in a lunge position. Now you might find that actually walking that back knee a little bit further back helps you feel a bit more of an opening in the hips. Or actually, you know, you're just happy where you are. Highly up to you. Hand uh, on the ground, or if you did want a little more comfort, you can pop a cushion underneath them. And just take a moment here. You might let the head go heavy. Have a little rock from side to side with the head. And then gently gaze forward. We're going to keep that left hand planted on the floor as we move the right hand to that right thigh and twist in towards the thigh. So it's a lovely gentle twist. You might find that actually you want to put that right arm up to the sky if you want a little bit more of an opening and a bit more energy. But if you're feeling a little low on energy, keep that hand down and just focus on the twist. Taking some lovely long breaths here. And then untwist the body, bring the hands back down. We're going to start to walk the hands ever so slightly backwards as we start to straighten that front leg and let the toes lift off the floor. So we're in a hamstring stretch here. Little bends in the front knee so we're not locking out the joint, we're keeping everything nice and soft. And imagining that we could fold the body down over that leg. Just breathe in some space into the back of the leg, feeling the energy. And then let's pad the hands forward, bend that knee, just come back into your lunge position. Stepping that knee back, bringing the hands back under the shoulders. And again, either go in side to side or round in circles. Just feeling the hips, the legs. Bringing it back to centre, let's take the hands over to the right and step that left foot forward this time. So we're coming back into the same posture, but on the opposite side. The knee is over the ankle, you might walk that back foot a little further back. And just let the head go heavy. Maybe rocking from side to side. No thing any looks. And then bring the gaze forward. Place the right hand down on the floor and lift that left hand to the left, twisting into the thigh. Again, do feel free to extend that left arm, but if energy is a little lower, keeping the hand on the thigh, just focus on the twist. Lovely long breath. The left hand comes down to the ground. You begin to walk the hands back a little as you straighten into that front leg. The toes can lift. And we're very gently folding forward. Finding that space between effort and release. And just breathing now.
Nice long breath, soft face. Start to walk the hands forward, bend back into that knee and then step it back to our tabletop position and just take some circles with the hips and the body. Bring it back to centre. Gently sit back on the heels and then we're going to stay kneeling if that feels okay. You can come to your sitting bones if you prefer not to kneel, or you could always pop a cushion between the feet and the bottom, just to give yourself a little more comfort. And find a lovely long, tall spine, shoulders back and down, and just rest the hands on the lap for a moment. Reconnect back in with the breath, that lovely natural rhythm. And then we're going to take the hands down to the sides. Let's get a little warmth into the shoulders now. So we're going to inhale, lift the arms up. As you work, so you're going to bend the elbows, bring them down in line with the shoulders and spread the fingers. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, send the fingertips all the way down to the floor again. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Pull the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the fingertips all the way down, stretch into the arms. See if you can follow your breath. Using the inhale to lift and the exhale to lower. Flowing. As you bend those elbows, really push the heart forward, maybe even looking up a little to the sky. Keep it moving. You're going to take three more in your own time, pausing if you need to. Closing the eyes and feeling that link between body and breath. When you've taken your three, just bringing the hands to rest on the thighs. Palms facing up, just being open to the practice, to the day. And then with the shoulders feeling a little warmer, we're just going to take them right up to the ears and roll them back down. Roll them up to the ears and roll them back and down. Just one more time, taking them as high as you can go and back and down. Take the hands behind you and interlace the fingers and very gently pull the hands away from you. So we'll be careful not to lock out the joints. It's a little bend there. Sending the hands down and away. Opening the heart. Do so be mindful that you haven't sort of collapsed into the belly though. Gently pulling tummy muscles up and in to keep you level. We're then going to bend the elbows and take the hands over to the right hand side. And you might find that they're sort of still on the back, they might be in the waist, it really doesn't matter as long as they're to the right. You're going to pull the elbows towards each other. Relax the shoulders down. The more you encourage the elbows together, the more you're going to feel it. And then you're going to take the right ear over to the right shoulder. 
and just breathe into the left side of the neck. Being conscious, we're not bringing the shoulder to meet the ear. And we're just allowing the body to breathe naturally. Relaxing the jaw, softening the space between the eyes. Inhaling, bringing the head to centre. Take the hands behind you once again for that little pull. And then you're going to take that over to the left. So hands are going to tuck in to the left side. Bringing the elbows towards each other. And then take the left ear to the left shoulder. Again, the shoulder's not coming up to the ear, so take it away. And if you're right-handed, this might feel a little more intense. And so just allowing the head to be heavy, breath is steady. And just keep just gently moving towards each other. And inhaling, bringing the head back to centre. Take the hands behind you for one more gentle pull and then release the hands and give the shoulders a few rolls, nice and gently. Lovely. Give the wrist a little shake, wiggle the fingers. All that blood naturally flowing. And then find that tall body again, activate the mula bandha, so tummy is coming in, pelvic floor is gently lifted to keep us nice and tall. You're going to take the right arm up, and just bend the elbow down so that the hands coming down the back, elbows pointing up. You might feel a little stretch down the back of the arm. And you can feel free to stay here if that just feels like a nice opener for the arm. Or you're going to take the left hand behind you, bend the elbow, and imagine that the fingertips are going to come towards each other. So they might touch, their hands might actually clasp, or they might feel like they're much, much further away. It's wherever the shoulders are going to let you go today. Just imagining the fingertips are moving towards each other if they're not there. Chin is parallel with the floor, so we're not looking down. Gomakanasana pose, cow face pose. So we've got a lovely, serene face of a cow. Little smile, a soft jaw. Taking two or three more breaths there. And then gently releasing the hands, bringing the arms down. Roll the shoulders. Taking that arm to the opposite side, so left arm comes up. We bend the elbow, again, and the elbow's facing up to the sky. You might feel a little stretch. And then let's take that right arm round the back, bending the elbows, and bringing the fingertips towards each other. Now you might find that it's much more accessible on one side than the other. And chin level, a nice open posture. And just be mindful the tummy hasn't collapsed. Let's gently keep the tummy muscles lifting up and in. Nice 
nice, steady breath, soft face. So on. And exhale, let's gently release the arms, roll the shoulders. And then you're going to take the knees out nice and wide as the toes stay together. And we're going to settle into a wide leg child's pose. You're allowing the body to relax down on the floor. Just melting there. Letting the arms be heavy. And a nice add on to this, if you like to feel a little opening in the chest, is to take the hands together and put them over the head. might not suit, so you can always have just the arms relaxing. On an inhale, let's start to lift back up. Come on to the hands and knees briefly, just bring in the knees together, feet together, and then let's just slide over onto our sitting bones. Letting the legs just have a little stretch out, maybe just rolling the ankles one way, then the other. And then coming to bring the soles of the feet together, a little butterfly pose. Connecting the sitting bones to the floor. Put the feet quite far away from you, so the closer they are, the more you feel it in the hips. But we're going to keep this really nice and open. Hands come to the ankles, maybe the shins if that feels a little more accessible. If they do come down to the feet, maybe just giving the toes a gentle rub, rubbing the soles of the feet, getting connected with the body. You can always interlace the fingers through the toes, but I know that doesn't suit everybody. And we're going to take a lovely inhale as we lift the chest, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend the elbows and start to fold forward. And then let the head go heavy. As if it was going to rest in the soles of the feet. We're not worrying too much if there's a little roundedness to the back. We're letting go. Breathing into whatever is there. As you breathe in this lovely, relaxed posture, see if you can feel the breath in the back of the body. Expanding the back and the shoulders as you inhale and softening as you exhale. Take in a few more breaths wherever you are. And then inhaling, let's roll nice and gently up for sitting. Give the knees a hand in to come close and again take the legs out. A little rub of the legs. And then we're going to come back to our original posture with our backs flat on the floor. And you can roll down with the help of the hands. You could hold on to the thighs and gently lower wherever you need help, then offer it. Come to feet flat to the floor, back is lovely and long on the mat. Take the arms to the sides of the body, turn the palms up to face the sky. See if you can gently pull the shoulder blades together. Walk the feet in as close as you can to the bottom, knees pointing up. And the knees are about hip distance apart. Take a lovely deep inhale. 
And then as you exhale, tilt the hips towards the face as if you were going to lift the bottom off the floor. Inhale, relax the hips. As you exhale, pull the hips towards the face. Give that lovely little tilt. Inhale, relax. As you exhale, pull the hips up. Inhale, relax. So this is a lovely little hip tilt to get energy moving through the body. Opening the lower back. You can stick with this, or you might have a yoga practice where actually a bridge is accessible to you. So, this is where we pull the hips off the floor and we pull the body up. Belly is lifted, hips are lifted, shoulders and arms gently rest on the ground. We're only doing this if we feel comfortable with it. If we're new to yoga or if we're just back after a long break, let's stay with these hip tilts, maybe making them a little bigger and lifting the bottom off the ground, but keeping it nice and mobile. Choosing what is best for you. If we're up in the bridge, we're taking three more breaths here. You may take the hands underneath and interlace the fingers. Always keeping the gaze up to the sky, just so we protect the neck. Wherever we've come to, when we've taken three lovely long breaths, we're going to let the hips come to the floor, relax the belly, and then bring the knees up towards the chest and come back that lovely little roll from side to side. Maybe round in circles. Massage in the back once again into the floor. And then releasing feet come to the floor and we're going to come into our Shavasana position to our relaxation. You can pop a cushion under the head. You can keep the knees bent with the knees falling in, or you can take the legs out long. Take a bit of space up. If you have cushions or bolsters, you could pop under the knees. That can take a lovely bit of pressure off the back. Just recline in a posture that works for you. And as I said before, if you wanted to switch off and let the body relax, you are more than welcome. If we're staying here, we're closing the eyes. And allowing the breath to be Long and soft, very little effort. Just feeling that gentle lift and lower of the body. Notice any sounds from outside or inside. Notice the world going on around you as you just melt into the ground. Just knowing you're exactly where you need to be doing exactly what you need to be doing. Feeling the inhale and the exhale as you relax into the floor.
close the gap between yourself and your body, your path and your purpose, your heart and forgiveness, your worries, the wrinkles that follow them, and focus on what really matters. Pay attention when you are tipping forward from one moment to the next, using your open process from one state of dissatisfaction to another. Pay attention so you can slow down when you need to. Listen to your body's whispers for more nourishing food, time outdoors, sleep, and close the gap. Close the gap between what you know you should do and what you end up doing. Instead of sitting tired and exhausted, a dull flickering screen illuminating the last bite of ice cream, and that one, and that one. Rock yourself to sleep with a lullaby. I'm coming home to myself, closing the gap between my life and my dreams. I'm coming home to myself, Finally listening to the heart tugging at my sleeve. With your hands on your heart, close the gap between yourself and your love. A long, deep breath in and a slow breath out. Take a long, deep breath in and a slow breath out. One more time, big, deep breath in. And a long breath out. And connect with the breath. Allowing it to just flow. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Rotate the wrists and the ankles. Maybe taking a stretch with the arms coming up, moving and listening to the body and doing whatever feels right for you right now. Maybe hooking the knees in, just moving naturally. And when you're ready, just rolling over onto the right hand side, softly pushing yourself back up to a seated position. Could be on the cushion, finding that long spine, but the soft front. And bring the hands together just by the heart and nod the head. Just allowing you to let go for one more moment, the mind giving way to the body. And thank yourself for coming today, for turning up for you. And thank the body for doing everything it is able to do. Namaste.